Part number four, deploy and run Fiori app. In last step, we have customized the Fiori app with SAP Web ID. Uh, it's still running with the mockup server with the mockup data. Um, in the next session, uh, we're going to see how can we deploy the Fiori app uh, into our, our live system uh, B1H and then connect to the live data from our B1H. So the, to doing so, we will need to use, uh, we will need to export the package, the project package uh, from the SAP Web ID, uh, right click and right click the project and um, select export. And as a result, we are going to have a, a Hive zip file um, has been exported. And then to deploy into our um, B1H uh, HANA, we will need to using the edited uh, from the web based development bench, which we do in the step number one. Um, in step number one, we have created an empty um, X app, a B1 Explorer app, and we also create an old data uh, for that. And what we're going to do is we're going to import uh, from the Hive uh, for the uh, Fiori application, uh, and then as a result, we'll be having uh, this far as a Fiori. Fiori Frankend uh, here. Okay, once I finish to import from the Hive, and then for the entry point, um, as as we mentioned, the entry point now we're still using the test uh, FPP dust mode as entry point, and there was a uh, several SAP UI five reference we will need to update accordingly, like SAP UI five core or the sandbox here. So eventually, uh, originally it's uh, taking the reference from the SAP Cloud Platform. For our case, you have a self option. If you, so this step I'm um, here, uh, you must, it must be consistent with the step uh, you create, uh, you create a theory from SAP Web ID project template. It will ask you to select the SAP UI5. Okay, if you in that step, if you select the latest SAP UI5, and here you need to using the latest SAP UI5. If we are using the uh, when you create a project, if you are using the SAP UI5 version according to your uh, according to SAP UI5 one your one promise HANA, and then you need to using this one. And then there was a block to summarize uh, this uh, very clear. We're going to have a look at late, later on. And then the second thing you got to change is we're going to change for the. Uh, for the service URL, so this service URL may be may be in different, maybe located in different uh, um, uh, file. It depends on the uh, version of SAP UI five. For this one, is the if you're using the SAP UI five one dot twenty eight, and then you will be located in the component. And in the component, you have a session about the config, and you have a field service URL. So the service URL, we will referring to the uh, the all data we having here, and then simple like that, and then we can just run the, the the entry the entry point application, and you're supposed to be able to see the uh, live data uh, coming back like this. Of course, and then you also can run the Fiori app uh, with the Fiori uh, client uh, on the iPhone or Android system, which you just need to uh, download. The Fiori app. Uh, download the uh, take the iOX for example. You just need to uh, search the SAP Fiori client, and then you configure the Fiori client using the URL, the full URL, which in last step you running uh, you running on your app uh, in this case. Okay, now let's do the uh, uh, do it together here. So the first, uh, let's have a look at the SAP Web ID. Uh, there's a couple of things. Uh, let me let me before we export. Um, basically, uh, in the manage manifest JSON of the project, uh, you will be able to find there's a couple of information here. Uh, basically, the SAP UI5 version, you find the USB UI5 version, uh, what is it based? So, basically, the source uh, template, when we create a, a purely project, we are using the, it's based on the 1.38 uh, SAP UI5 version. And then the SBUI5 version basically it's using the version uh, almost the latest one. 
the minimum is required minimum the one dot uh, forty two the almost the latest one. So uh, because I didn't select I didn't select and by default you're using using the latest one when we create the project from the SV Mobile ID. So in that case I cannot using the um the SV UI five uh, in my HANA because that was older version uh, because this one required a minimum one to forty two. Okay. Okay and then how to doing that um never to this let's export the whole project the whole project first and the other thing is the um the other one the other one is for the uh, URL uh, service URL now the data source it also reside in the manifest JSON instead of the component js that was the old version in the latest version it's in the uh, data source and main service and URL so you 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 are will become come over here okay now let's export uh, the whole package and as a result export as a zip file and then now let's going back to our uh, one promise editor now what we're going to do is we're going to this is our backend our data service and together we're going to import into in the web uh, app uh, into here so just right click right click our package and then click import and select a hive and select uh, this one we download locally and then browse import it okay as a result it will be import uh, the whole all of the content inside this project that means the web app and all of this has been imported into as a as a flying can okay and then there's a the first thing we're going to do is we're going to update um, update the um, um, update the the theory sandbox um, FV sandbox XDMR. that was the entry point for our application that's the entry point for our application let me explain so this one you have um, the following you having the reference you have the reference to the to the sandbox uh, for the SPUI 5 also SPUI 5 core the JS this is two we all need to do uh, we need to do and then you explain you were um, they were first you would declare uh, the root uh, the root is the here the root is from here the root is the apparent folder so it's here and then our this our application folder you can customize uh, from here this is the uh, namespace first uh, because we uh, we are using the latest it will require the, uh, a minimum 1 to 42 so it means we almost need to latest uh, UI5 the uh, SAP latest SP05 uh, we cannot using the the local uh, the SAP05 here the SP05 which you can find it find it out uh, for when you uh, in your in the old HANA system and you can find it out from the UI5 one SDK and then you find it in DAX XTML, or you just go to the version info and then you'll be able to find it. So in here we can be able to find out um, uh, the version information for for our local SAP UI5 uh, in our SAP HANA system. Just click the version info. Let's check it out. So just look at the version for uh, SAP UI, UI core. Uh, SAP UI core it's 1.28 um, uh, so as we said uh, as we uh, as we learned from the from the UI 5 uh, dependence it required a minimum uh, 42 so that means we can using the SAP UI 5 in our local SAP HANA okay and then uh, you can refer to the blog um, here um, there are you can you are showing you how can you using the latest um, SAP HANA. So basically, there was a CDN uh, CDN for the SAP UI five available in the SAP Cloud Platform. So you want to take this one, and it will be almost the latest SAP UI five uh, JS in this case. If you would like to have a specific version, of course you can specify it here. You also host in the in the CDN of SAP Cloud Platform here. Okay, for our case, uh, we have no other choice but just using the uh, uh, this, the latest one from SAP uh, Cloud Platform.
let's replace the core. Okay, so let's re and the second one is we also need to re replace the sandbox. So the sandbox um, basically it's we just need to having uh, take this. Basically, we just replace this one. So you will download the SAP uh, at least SAP i five from uh, from here. All right. So that's the first thing we update uh, the UI SAP UI five reference uh, in the theory uh, entry uh, here. And then the next things uh, we will need to modify is the data source. So the data source uh, is located in the manifest, uh, the JSON is not in the component. The old version is in the component. So for here, we will need to specify uh, where is our old data. So basically, our old data um, service, our target old data service is this one. So we will, um, we will simply uh, sometimes you just open it or you run it, and then you also can give you the URL as well. You don't need to give the foot path because they are in the same server in SAP exchanging, so they can using the relative this JSON. So, all right. So that would be the, our live data uh, JSON, and just save it. And now basically we have done. So just give a give a go, uh, then open the entry point. So this will going to be our entry point. And then supposedly it will connect to the um, live data from the B1H. Okay, now we have our app. Very good. Now it connect to the live data. Let's uh, swap, uh, select one of the item uh, AW5. So this is all of the uh, BP retrieved from my system. And let's look at the contact person. So now it worked perfectly here. Yes, and that would be the. Uh, um, may, it may be not look very good, let's say you are using the test URL. Uh, what you can do, basically you can uh, do additionally but just by copy uh, copy this, uh, the content of this XTML and put it into the, uh, put it into the outside, um, outside. So we are going to, the last, last thing we're going to do is we're going to make the entry point uh, point to here instead of the, using the test at the theory. Uh, sandbox. So just copy the old content. The only thing uh, we are going to focus is focus on the where is the root, uh, the workspace for the app. So the workspace for the app is always here. So we need to modify this one after we we swap. Okay. So now let's just copy the content of sandbox, and then we make the entry point into our. Uh, index dummy xml so replace everything here and we are going to change and then now we are outside uh, we need to point to the inside is this one so it will be uh, dot and what app and you you will this will be the root of the theory app uh, in this case save it and if you run this page, and this is all of the sample application, uh, which one the available from the. Okay, as you can see now, it works uh, perfectly here. If you and now we having the theory app, uh, which been able to run from the, uh, from the from the browser here. So basically, uh, all about the, if you want to run the theory app from your. Uh, from your iPad or from your tablet or from your iPhone. So basically SAP also provide You can search SAP Fiori client and you'll be able to find the you can download through the Google Play or iOS And then once you have a download on your on your mobile and then you can uh, configuration uh, You just need to enter the the whole Fiori URL um, to, to run the app. So the whole URL is the app um, is the URL um, you are running 
uh, here just take this one uh, put it into the configuration URL and then you'll be able to run the Fiori app uh, as you like in in the mobile size in this case okay that's the end of the um, Fiori app deployment that's the end of the part 4 deploy and run Fiori app thank you for your time